audition. I walked in the studio. Guy says to me, you know, Charlie, baby, you look like you're right for the part. You're an Indian. You're kind of smart. What I want you to do, babe, is take off your shirt and let's see why you can grunt and crawl for me. You know, a little screen test. And I said, look, I don't crawl for anybody. Give you $5,000 a week. Well, I might grunt a little bit. I got the job. The next day I'm going, Mazzola, corn goodness. Mazzola. I was thrilled. I called my mom. Hey, mom, I'm working. Yeah, I'm in the Mazzola spot. Yeah, I'm the second Indian behind the Italian. Yeah, that's me. Mazzola. You know, it's a wonderful song. We sing it at all of our ceremonials. You know. I mean, the song's got everything in it, but people going like this. You know, I've never seen an Indian person ever do this, you know. And I've seen drunken white people do that a lot. And, hey, where's the bingo hall, chief? You know, you know, people don't know better. You know, it's a carryover from your childhood and the Boy Scouts. Like, they got Indian clubs in them, but no Indians. It doesn't matter. They got the expert with the Billy Jack T-shirt, you know. All right, kids, we're going to the authentic Plains Indian dances today, like I learned in Boston College, you know. And like all Plains Indians, they'd whip out the piano in the middle of the gymnasium and got out their cardboard headdresses. You know. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You know, people don't realize that somebody's dances are religious expressions for Native people. Like, what if I got my kids together and said, hey, let's play Catholic. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. There are Catholics out there, you gotta forgive me, hey! That's the rules. The thing I didn't like about school was the history books, you know, I always thought they were one-sided, you know. Because the white men wrote the history books, out oh, of hell with you, engine, we got the typewriters. <laughs> Once upon a time, there were three, but, you know, history books call us vanishing Americans. But we're still around, when's the last time you seen a pilgrim? <laughs> you never see the little guys with the hats and the guns anymore, you know? Pilgrims came to America 400 years ago. They were illegal aliens. This is true. The Indians used to call them whitebacks, you know. And, and you just hate it when you have company over for dinner and they never leave. <laughs> well, we leave after Thanksgiving, Chief. What's Thanksgiving? Well, it's a holiday. We don't have holidays here. Oh, that's okay. We brought our own. Hey. In California history books, I always tell you, you know, in 1507, Balboa discovered the Pacific Ocean. He discovered the ocean. You know, like the native people lived there for centuries. I guess they had no idea there was an ocean out there. And <laughs> that boy said, hey, there's a Pacific Ocean. He went, gee, we had no idea what that was. Uh, Thank you, white brother. Now we can dance. Mazzola. <laughs>